What is going on my shiny cardboard enthusiasts? Welcome back to the channel guys and today we are doing our set review for Galactic Battle, the first set ever to be released in the Dragon Ball Super Card game, debuting on July 28th, 2017. This set only featured four SPRs and no secret rares, so there's not going to be a whole lot to talk about in this video, but before we dive any more into it, make sure you guys are subscribed, hit the video with the like if you guys enjoyed or found it informative, and drop some comments down below letting me know what you guys think about this set. With all that being said, we can just continue. I'm not going to blow myself up this time. <laughs> there's no point in transitioning because this video is going to be relatively short because... Like I said, there's not too much to talk about. I will have the four SPRs cycling right here next to me. This set was themed around the Champa Saga, the Broly Saga, and the Frieza Saga. So the SPRs kind of show and relate, you know, relative towards that. So rel relate towards that. Jesus. <laughs> so, you know, I will say they are not some bad looking SPRs. They do look pretty great and for this first set ever to be released, you know, it's really, it's not too bad. It's definitely a collector's item. I definitely would not recommend opening this set. I would just recommend buying the cards that you want. Speaking of which, we will have a montage of a couple of the cards I did find interesting in this set. And then we will do a rating out of seven Dragon Balls and out of 10 to rate the whole set and everything. But, you know, to say really about this set, I just wanna give time for the SPRs to cycle next to me and everything. But, you know, it is, it is kind of interesting that they decided to start the first set without a secret rare. I do believe, you know, that's a very interesting take, you know, to kind of start off a card game. There's no like super high rarities. And I'm pretty sure the SPRs were, you know, obviously not guaranteed in every box and stuff like that. But, you know, we are going to take all this stuff into consideration when rating this set. So, you know, that's really all I got to say about this one. So let's go ahead and dive into the montage. <sighs> All right, so now that we're back from the montage, we got to see all the cards that I was interested in this set. And there was, you know, quite a, a few of them that I liked. You know, this set was not that big. I mean, it was kind of big, but you know, there just wasn't a lot of stuff to pick from this set. You know, the fact that there was no secret rare, I feel like is gonna be a big detriment to the rating on this set, just because I find it very interesting that you're gonna start a whole new card game, you know, the first, you know, series of a, like a fresh new start of a, you know, card game and stuff like that. And they're just kind of like no secret rares, only four special rares and stuff like that. It's very interesting take. Uh, the special rares being themed around the set is definitely a good thing. So out of seven Dragon Balls, I'm going to rate this set a 1.5 out of seven. Uh, the, the SPRs being themed around the set and then looking as nice as they do is what really held this set up because the fact that there's no secret rare, you know, to kind of like also go with the set or have like some sort of chase and everything, I definitely recommend just buying this box, putting it in an acrylic case or something and then just, you know, leaving it at that 
would not recommend opening this box. It sucks I paid like $800 back whenever like COVID was, you know, still around and I paid so much money for this and it like dropped so drastically. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to rate this set out of 10. I'm going to give it a 2 out of 10 just because like I mentioned earlier, the SPRs are pretty nice, but no secret rare. The lack of not too many cards and stuff like that. I mean, there was a decent variety of them, but, you know, it was mostly, like, like they had two sagas uh, as, you know, two of the, you know, colors of the cards. Usually each color is its own saga, yada, yada. But that is all I'm, I have for this video. So thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to listen to me ramble about this you know, set review and shiny cardboard and stuff like that. Have a great rest of your day, everybody, and I'll catch you guys in.